So the best ever alternative of matches is finally here. What we are talking about here is Colonel SU. If you don't know, Colonel SU is an alternative of matches. The same thing which matches do, of course, grinding root permissions and installing modules. And yes, everything is possible here right now. But unfortunately, it's not like the straight, simple process like installing matches. It's a bit of complicated process. I made a video already on Colonel SU on my Hindi channel. So if you hadn't checked it out yet, you can go and check out some of the major advantages includes a safety net status it's passed by default even after installing kernel sv after installing modules after ins after granting root permission to any app that's amazing and uh, what i just want to let you know in this video because some of my viewers don't know that language that is why this tutorial is all about some files which you need in your device let me tell you one thing here the kernel which i'm using right now is device specific like it's only for redmi note 10 pro so to install kernel su you need a kernel for that or for that you need to check out xda or your device specific telegram channels or groups and sorry i can't help you in that you need to find out that and if you already did it then move on to our next step after installing these things what you need to do and everything i will talk about in this video so stay tuned and make sure to like this video also share this tutorial if this is helpful for you and if i move on to the custom recovery of course the process is almost same like magis like installing magis when you need a custom recovery bootloader unlock etc etc everything is same here i'm using orange fox custom recovery and as i just mentioned things are almost same here for example, simply take a backup of boot image in case something goes wrong or if your device is ending in boot loop, you will be able to restore your device after restoring boot image. So that's completely fine. After taking backup of boot image, install that module, install that kernel. As I just said, because if this kernel as I am using this kernel only for Redmi Note 10 Pro users, if it is any other device, maybe you are using. So check out their device uh, device support group or XTA or wherever you want to find out the kernel and then you will be able to install this thing on your device. And then as I just mentioned, I will not be able to help you in that manner because I don't know which device you are using, but process is actually same. After installing this thing, of course, reboot your device. Sometimes, like if you're using a custom ROM and that custom kernel which is inbuilt there is, of course, already compatible with that, then it's very, very good. It's not necessary that you need to install this kernel module on your device. It's just like if your device default kernel is not supported for that, you don't have those kind of rights, then you need to install this kind of kernel on your device. As I just mentioned at the starting of the video, things are a little bit of complicated compared to Magis. As you can see, it's now working. We just installed this another kernel which is available for Redmi Note 10 Pro. It supports kernel SU. So right now it's done. My device is actually rooted. It's yes, it's almost same like Magisk. It's a little bit of complicated thing like that, but it's completely fine. Now my device is rooted. But what is the major difference between Magisk and kernel SU? Let me tell you. If I move on to this, you can move on to this app, which I just installed as an example, which I just installed as an example to show you that how to grant root permission. It's not as simple as that like Magisk, but it's very good. It's very useful. Simply open kernel SU, open this super user option here simply refresh and then you need to grant root permission to that app from this section if you move on to directly that app then no pop-up will op open for you to grant root permission etc this will not ask you any kind of pop-up or notification etc you need to grant root access manually to every application which is a very good thing by the way not every app can access root permission directly that is why it's quite useful and better than magic no app can detect that your device is rooted or not and also as i just mentioned at the starting of the video you can install modules on a device like right now if i install module here i will be able to install this thing and it should not give me any error although not every module is compatible with that some of the modules two or three modules which i found i've shared with you already and you can check out my hindi video and also i will share some of the existing modules which are supported for this one very very soon so make sure to subscribe the channel and as i just mentioned at the starting of the video it supports safety net it's passing by default so that's very very nice these were things i just want to let you know i hope you like this don't forget to like and share this video goodbye